I am alive and it's good to be alive! Hello everyone, today I'm doing more of a basics video on mod management. Uh, for a lot of people who just have a bunch of mods, don't really know what they should do with them, or what they should do with the useless mods that they have, so I just wanted to go into that with you guys. So, let's say you have a ton of mods. Well, if you hit the Y button, I'm on Xbox, you'll notice you have an option to sort all of your mods. So I like to sort by duplicates if I'm thinking about mods to get rid of, and my god, look at this, 456 intruder mods. That's insane. I have no reason to have that many intruder mods. They're not worth anything. You can't sell them to a player. So here's what you can do. If you select the mods, you should have an option to select all of them. Sometimes I'm really iffy and I like to keep at least one of each mod, even if it's really easy to get just because I'm a collector and I don't know, my brain's weird, but you have the option to sell them for credits, but if I'm being truthful, I don't feel like the amount of credits it gives you is really worth it. I mean, I've been playing this game for three years now and I've probably already sold a stack of these, but I imagine it took me quite some time to get 456, and 91,000 credits just really doesn't feel useful to me. I mean, then again, I have like almost 15 million. But I mean, once you advance in the game and you learn enough about it, 91,000 credits really isn't a lot. What you can do, however, is dissolve it into endo. Again, don't feel like it gives you very much endo, but I feel like endo is far more useful because endo is much harder to farm and is also a crucial tool for improving your mods. I'd also like to note a really cool function where if you select four mods, you will have a transmute option. This essentially allows you to spend some credits, so it'll cost me 12,000 credits, uh, and you get to take four mods that you have selected and basically fuse them together with the outcome of getting a random new mod. Now, here's the downside to this is the rarity of mods that you use do affect the rarity of mod you'll get back. So I almost never, absolutely never recommend transmuting bronze or copper mods because to be honest, you're, you're trading four pieces of crap for possibly a new piece of crap that you don't have yet. The chances of you getting a gold or silver mod out of this is very rare and it's going to be quite expensive by the time you actually do get something good unless you have the best RNG in the world. So I really only recommend this if you, much like myself, have a ton of credits and nothing better to do, nothing better to spend them on, and uh, you really don't need the extra credit. However, it can be quite helpful if you use it on, like for example, I have 17 Undying Will mods, which I'm not a huge fan of, I don't really need. I think it's kind of silly to have a mod on your Warframe that relies on you dying to become effective. I, I don't know, that concept is weird to me, it might be good for Anaros, but that's about it. So, for example, if I select four of these gold mods, I'm, if I'm lucky, I'll get a gold mod in return, but hey, who knows, very slim chance, let's see here. Um, st holy crap. Okay, so I actually got a new mod <laughs> that's pretty cool I don't have yet. I think that's a newer one that they introduced to the game. That's neat. That or I just didn't have it yet. So that's a perfectly good example of, like, a good outcome. So let me try that again with flow because I have some of those. I want to try and see if I can actually get some bad art. Yeah, see, look at that. I just spent four gold mods to get freaking flame repellent, which isn't worth garbage. So that first example is not the best example. I'll try again with pain threshold. I want to give you guys a couple examples. Bear with me here so you can just kind of see. Yeah, so, okay, so they might have increased the chances. That's pretty good. Let me try one at a time. We'll do four, four total. Yeah, see, did it four times, got two gold mods and two copper mods, so more often than not, you get, like, copper or silver mods, so uh, not very good. Also, what I recommend is some mods can be very expensive, so if I go to rarity here, you'll notice my primed continuity mod takes up 14 mod capacity. So for someone like me who has a lot of Warframes, and maybe eventually you will, um, you may want to have more than one of some mods. Like for example, if I can find it here. Yeah, here we are. I actually have two transient fortitude mods. They're both at the same level right now. Oh no, one's uh, one level higher than the other. The reason for this is basically if you have a mod that you really like and you have it on a bunch of Warframes and you then try to upgrade said mod, What'll happen is it'll exceed the capacity for some of your Warframes. So you go over here and you do Fusion and you level it up. And then it'll say, hey, just so you know, 
when you're upgrading this, you won't be able to put it on your Ash anymore, or you won't be able to put it on your Chroma. It's going to be too expensive. And if you have this mod on a lot of Warframes, that's going to suck. Basically, to put that mod back on those frames, you're going to need to form of them or put a catalyst on them or do a lot of work. That is a ton of work. So what I recommend is having more than one of the same mod. Uh, this is helpful so that you can have each one ranked differently. So you can have, like, a, like for example, I still use my gold rarity continuity. Yes, I have primed continuity, but I still have regular continuity too because sometimes that's all my frame has capacity for for that given moment until I form of them or something. So it helps to have more than one version of a mod that's leveled up differently. Like for example, mods like Redirection, uh, especially Tality. So Vitality here has multiple upgrade tiers. Look at all those little dots. You can up upgrade this thing a whole bunch. Really helps to have one that's pretty good but not all the way maxed out and then have another one that is just completely maxed out. It's going to make managing mods on your frames so much easier, I promise. And also what helps is if you're a newer player and maybe you don't have any plat and you don't want to spend money or you don't have money to spend, you think, well, how can I make some plat? Because technically everything in Warframe is free. If you want plat, you just got to sell something that somebody else wants. Unfortunately, some people get off selling some really dumb things to people that don't know any better, and I really hate that. But what helps is if you go to Rarity, and don't be afraid to make a list. Just go to Rarity and go through your mods and look at, okay, what do I have that I'm willing to part with or don't need? Like, for example, Adhesive Blast is rare for some people. Um, so I've just been handing them out for free like hotcakes like if some if I'm buying something from someone and they make it a good deal I'll just toss in an adhesive blast and randomly people are really happy about it They're like oh my gosh, thank you so much. I didn't have it yet uh, Other people it's like is like me, you know, I already already got one leveled up, but just go through Make a list of some gold mods that somebody else might think is rare, but you're willing to part with uh, and don't be afraid to write down a list and then try to sell them to people. You know, hey, selling gold mods. Uh, I usually try to sell one mod at a time because I hate just selling, just saying, you know, selling gold mods because then I'll get a bunch of inbox messages for crap that I don't have. So that also helps. It'll help you get some plat um, and also help you learn how valuable mods really are. Like, uh, sometimes I'll see people saying, hey, I'm selling this rare stance mod, you know, this. And then I've got, like, a billion of them. So then I tell people on that chat message, I'm like, hey, don't don't buy that. Like, gee, like, Jesus, people, just come to me first. If you really need that mod that badly, like, I'll give it to you. Um, so that's also very helpful. Well, I think that just about does it for mods, you guys. Uh, if there's any other neat little tips or tricks or things you want me to try and cover, please drop a comment down below. I love helping you guys and talking to you guys. So I hope you have a kick-ass day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.